By now, we've all heard how bad Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is, and I'm here to tell you pretty much the same thing. Is it the worst game ever? No, it's not. But it's far from a good game, with repetitive missions, constant interruptions after every mission to watch this annoying reward screen for loot I just didn't care about, and server issues kicking me off the game. Yeah, it's one of those games, no playing offline, so if the servers are acting up, well, go play something else, which honestly isn't a bad idea, but I, for whatever reason, was hellbent on getting the platinum. So let's do that, shall we? I'm going to break it up into three goals. Goal one, complete the story, pretty self-explanatory. Goal two, finish the remaining side missions and collectibles. And then finally, goal three, the incredibly boring end game grind. Then hopefully at the end of those three goals, I'll have unlocked all 51 trophies, including the platinum. I began the game completing the tutorial level, but honestly, with this game, it felt like you got tutorials the whole way through the game. It was kind of ridiculous how many pop-ups are in this game. Hey, there's our first trophy. Trial by fire. What the hell just happened? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm wondering. What did just happen? After that, I arrived at the Hall of Justice and everyone got the new traversal abilities. Boomerang got a speedy teleporter. Harley got a grappling hook. King Shark got the Riddler's hat, which basically did nothing, but it looked cool. And Deadshot got a jetpack. Let's get up on that roof. Where did he just put that hat, bro? Did he shove up his ass? Ooh, we got our second trophy. Cleaning out the closet, steal something useful from the Hall of Justice. Moving on, we had to survive the Batman experience. Oh shit. Oh, he's got the hat back. Are we legit being like hunted by Batman right now? The hell is this a horror game all of a sudden? Um, all right, no it. Don't stand on those. I'm usually the one playing Batman stalking. Oh! Wait, what did you. Did you just kill him? Yo, dead. You alright there, bro? <laughs> Ow! That's. That's, uh. That's quite the move there. I can hear him, like, jumping around. Oh my god. Batman's overpowered, bro. Overpowered. It needs a nerf. Go look out for numero one, eh, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Bro, we got no chance. Get me out of here. Oh, there he is. Where are you going? You scared? Oh my god. Boomerang. <laughs> boomerang looking like a boomerang. What the shit? Bro, my guy's been folded in half. <laughs> Jesus. The enemies feel when I'm playing as Batman. Damn. Flash coming in clutch. Oh my god. Holy sh... Bro, Batman, chill, my guy. Feel Look bad for Flash. Straight. Everyone's just beating the crap out of him. Ready for phase. Hey, boss. All right, bad they're back new. up. Hitting the fan. That's another one. Survive the Batman experience. I mean, did we really survive it? I'm not so sure. There's Penguin. What up, Cobble Pop? Next, I recruited Penguin. He allows us to craft new weapons. The penguin is in flight. Repeat, the penguin is in flight. Then let's clip his wings. <laughs> Waddles like a penguin as well, to be fair. Shut down the German hey, there we go. Foul play. Recruit your first support squad member. Recruited Poison Ivy. She allows us to put afflictions on equipment. This is basically like what other games will have, where it's elements like fire, ice, and lightning. Find her. Boom. Hey, we finally got a trophy. 
Walled in. Escape plan gone wrong. Ooh, we got a trophy. Death blooms. Recruit your second support squad member. So now that I had Penguin on the team, I went back to the Hall of Justice and crafted my first weapon, unlocking the Choices Trophy. And continued on with the story. We were taunted by the Flash and had to take on a behemoth. The fight is pretty straightforward. We simply needed to kill enemies to collect Terminator bits. Once done, it would open up the boss's weak point. After four phases of doing the same thing, the mission was done, earning us this. Boom. Blitzberg Bob. It's another trophy in the bag. Destroy the behemoth. Now back to exploring Metropolis, you have these Riddler AR challenges, they're basically traversal challenges, they're actually not too bad and they do teach you how to efficiently get around the map with each character, you're timed and earn between 1 and 3 star rating at the end. For this trophy I earned my 13th star, I'll have to complete many more of these, altogether there's 21, we'll have to complete all of them with a 3 star rating, that'll unlock another 2 trophies later. Ooh, a trophy. Turn and turn again. Achieve 13 stars in Riddler AR challenges. Collected my 10th Riddler trophy. Oh, another trophy. Stop me if you've heard this one. Collect 10 Riddler trophies. It was now time for our first proper boss fight and it was disappointing. It was pretty tedious and boring. It had four phases that didn't change. It had us wait until the icon flashed above him, meaning we could do a counter shot, then simply shoot him until the first bar is depleted, rinse and repeat until the fight was over. It's over for you, Barry Allen. We almost got him, I think. Let's see how you like a blast kicking flasher. Oh, there it is. That was very anticlimactic. Thunderstruck. Kill the fastest man alive. Is he peeing on him? Guess you got what, you wanted, Boomer. what the hell was that? No one saw it. After that, it was time to find Lex. Once we found him, I had to do one of my favorite missions where we slowly follow and defend a vehicle. I'm just kidding. Of course, it's boring and it feels completely out of place. And to make it even worse, I had to do this same type of mission about six other times throughout the game. I'm honestly not sure what gave them the idea that this was so much fun that it should be done multiple times, but uh, there it is. Mission complete. Ooh. Hell and back. Rescue Lex Luthor. Hell yeah. For this next trophy, I had to complete five flare checklists. During certain missions, you'll get this list of combat objectives on the right side of the screen. You have to finish all three of them five times. For the most part, they're all pretty easy and don't really add anything to the gameplay. In fact, trying to always do them just becomes really tedious and annoying. So not long after I got this trophy and realized I didn't have to do them anymore, I just ignored them. Ooh, trophy, the chosen one. Fully complete the combat flare checklist five times, single player sessions only. I then finished the mission. Oh, another trophy, I won't expect one there. Managing people, complete the final Rick Flag Support Squad mission. I then went around doing little things here and there, continued leveling up, hitting level 10 with King Shark. Later on, we'll have to do a massive grind though, because we need to reach the max rank of 30 with all four of the characters. Level up. Reach level 10 with any squad member. With a few levels in our pocket and some stronger weapons, it was time to tackle another Justice League member. This time, Green Lantern. Yet again, it was a boring boss fight, it had two phases which were the same, take out anything he spawns, doing so lowers his shield which once depleted allows you to actually damage him, it's really that simple. Where the hell is it? Man's almost done. Boom! Blackest Knight. 
kill the Green Lantern. Hopefully Deadshot doesn't piss on him like Boomerang did with Flash. As a trophy! Their dark design achieved 26 stars in the Riddler challenges. Shortly after, it was time for another boss fight, this time taking on the baddest man alive. Batman, of course. Another badly done boss fight, made even worse because unfortunately for me, it was like ruined. The first part has us running around, hitting switches while we're infected with toxins. It's pretty fun the first time. However, I had to do this section multiple times because the servers kept going down during this mission and every time they did, I had to restart the whole thing. This is the worst thing as well, like, because the servers crashed on this mission, it's like the most boring mission at the start as well. You're literally just walking around, pressing the uh, these machines, and I've done it so many goddamn times, it's kind of killed the, the, the mission for me, you know? Mission unfailed. Wait, are, are we good? I looked at the chat and I looked back and I'm thinking I maybe missed a cut, like a quick time event. Are we good? Weapons free, Here we go. He's standing right there. Yeah. It's time to fight the world's greatest detective. Oh, sh Jesus, I didn't even see that thing coming at me. Right, well, so far, it's definitely better than the uh, Flash boss fight. The Flash boss, boss fight was a bit, a bit poop. Jesus, this, the magazine on this thing is ridiculous. It doesn't take long to reload either. Just a giant bullet sponge. I think we finished him. Or at least potentially phase one or something. Oh, and a trophy as well. End game. Killed the world's greatest detective. Uh, not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more from the world's greatest detective, but you know, I'll take the win. Alright, we're good. Here we go. Job well done. Mission accomplished. Trophy as well. Winged Vengeance, which was for completing the final Penguin support mission. With the bat defeated, Lex figured out a way to make kryptonite bullets, which meant it was time to kill Superman. Before that though, my favourite mission type makes a return. Whatever, Whatever this is. Next, oh, it's not another one of those we... follow the bloody vehicle missions, is it? They're so boring and I've done like five of them. Oh my god, it is. I don't know why these missions are in the game. It's like playing a multiplayer game. You know, like a multiplayer game where you have the, the game mode where you, you basically just stand near the objective vehicle to get it to to like move. Like Overwatch has it and stuff. That's literally all this this level is. And there's, there's been about five or six of them, and they're super long as well, usually. They're so boring. Hopefully the actual boss fight's good. The Batman one was a bit shit. The Flash one wasn't very good either. I never was too bright. Get some new material, jerk off. You know, Joker? Used to be I feel like she's talking to the developers and the game design. Wow. They really did Batman dirty like that. Really? That's how he dies? That's how the how we kill Batman? We just do a terrible boss fight, capture him, send him to Lex to get beat up, and then we just Harley Quinn just shoots him in the face. Okay. As a big Batman fan, I'm a bit bit salty about how easily they kind of took him out. Every time I look at Superman in this game, I see Nathan Drake. <laughs> I just can't I can't help it. Right, I guess we're uh we're gonna go hunt him down. Oh, just like that, we're in the fight. Alright, let's get it. But we gotta wait for like a certain thing to happen. Yeah, there we go. Let us maintain this pace. Yeah, the, the, all the boss fights follow a very similar pattern as well. You just kinda like you wait for him to do a certain move, do your counter attack thing. And then just shoot them. Like it's the same mechanics pretty much on every boss. Super lazy, bro. Right, yeah, we're doing loads of damage now. Right, we got it. Oh, I wonder what happened there. The, I thought the game crashed. The music just kind of stopped. We almost got him. Statue up, up in my face. 
Is that it? Wow, we actually got him. Abandon all hope. Kill the Man of Steel. So now that Superman was defeated, the main game was finished. But we still had one last boss to take out. Brainiac. The reason behind all this. But before that, I needed to power up a little bit because it was still a little bit weak. Okay, so this is where all the DLC stuff's going to come. The Nexus. So, I did the final hack and Lex mission. Oh shit, that's my ability away. Are we good? Then we're done. But I got what we needed. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that mission. It was a bit lame. All right. we did that thing here in the I hall. think that's all our missions okay. done now though, so possibly get a trophy. Yep, there it is. Shock treatment. Finishing the final one. Are we done? At least it was shot. Sweet. So is that all of Lex's done now, I think? Yep, there you go. Your world is mine. We're completing the final Lex Luthor support mission. So what levels what are we with you, the characters? So we're level 10 with Deadshot. 7 with Boomerang. 21 with Shark. And 8 with Harley Quinn. Yeah, we've still got a long, go to, like, a long way to go to get max level with, with all the characters. Earned another 3 stars on the final AR challenge mission. There it is. Blaze of Glory. Achieve 39 stars in the Riddler AR challenges. So that's every AR challenge done now. Scanned the Riddler's riddles. Goes to show, oh, Riddler. Trophy. Brain's just another muscle. The right question. Solve five of the Riddler's riddles. Yeah, for these, you just um, you get a bit of text and it gives you like an idea of where they are. And then when you find them, you just go over to them, hold up like that and... You scan them. There we go. Only one more riddle to solve. Right, so last one should be here somewhere. I think it's this. The D-E-O. This should be the last one in the trophy. Yep, there it goes. So the real deal. Solve 21 of Riddler's riddles. Hell yeah, let's go. That's another collectible trophy done. All right, here we go. It's time for our, but our first uh, Brainiac encounter. These are basically the end game missions. You need to earn a currency first to even attempt it. To get the currency, you just do other little random missions around the open world. I'll have to redo these things though a lot over and over again, slowly increasing my mastery level because we'll need to get to 20. The worst part is there's only actually three of these types of missions. So yeah, you're going to be repeating them a hell of a lot. During this incursion though, I also completed my 50th support squad contract. I'll need 100 altogether for another trophy. These are little objectives that range anywhere from just simply sliding around to getting grenade kills, sniper kills, you get the idea. The annoying part is you are only able to actually have a few active at a time and every time you finish one you also have to go into the menu to kind of confirm that you completed it and get the reward and then select another one so yeah constantly going back into the menus over and over again gets old real fast oh trophy what's that for complete 50 support squad contracts oh yeah good stuff i wonder when that one was gonna pop up i still need another 50 for the 100 one for an opportunity to test this. Oh, then we got him. So it seems these uh, Brainiac battles are just basically the boss fights you've already done, but harder, which is a bit of a disappointment. All right, well, there's our first Brainiac win and a trophy for us. No one defeats Brainiac. Kill the collector of the worlds. Brainiac eliminated. Oh, story completed. Mm, well, there's the uh, season stuff. The fight against Brainiac will continue in season one. Looks like the Joker's going to show up as well. Expect new gear, else worlds and squad members as you chase Brainiac across dimensions. I just wish they included it all into the game. And it was just a big game at launch. 
this live service stuff. It's not really my cup of tea anymore. All right, so this is the next step that we need to do. We need to get to mastery level 20, I think it was. It says you've killed the Justice League, but are you ready to prove your mastery over Brainiac's forces? So it says pre prepare for the challenges ahead in Finite Crisis. Raise your mastery levels and earn new unique infamous sets that will change how you play. The higher you go, the harder the challenges, uh, sweeter the rewards. Yeah, so we need to get to, we need to complete mastery level 20 and we also need to get i think tier three infamy sets or something like that so let's uh let's continue more reinforcements you have no excuses now oh there's another trophy act of war complete your first incursion mission Oh, and another trophy. Choice of evils. Unlock a villain synergy. You need a help fight helper plan. So precious. Alright, I think that should be the last one of those missions for Poison Ivy. Yep, there it is. Welcome to the jungle. Complete the final Poison Ivy support quest. All right, should be the final mission for Toy Man. Oh my god, my character just went flying. So that should be another trophy, I think. Yep, there it is. Combine and conquer. Final mission for Toy Man. So now that I'd completed both Toy Man and Poison Ivy's final missions, I unlocked the ability to supercharge and elite my gear. All right, so back at base, I should be able to unlock two trophies now so i need a trophy for supercharging a piece of gear so we go to poison ivy she can supercharge and do it to melee weapons and grenades so let's supercharge it so it'll get it to rank two there we go forces in motion get poison ivy to supercharge the affliction on a piece of gear now the second one which is to do the elite thing or something on a piece of gear so we got the toy man and then we've got this elite so we can change the abilities on like the stat ability type thing so you can see there where it's like 14 percent damage to grunts and stuff like that those little like perks on weapons we can now change those so let's switch up the one on the shotgun old x2 elite there we go grand Experiment. Get time on to elite a piece of gear. Ooh, king for a day. Yeah, I think that might be max level. Yeah, reach max level with King Shark. Still got to do it with the other three characters though. All right, so now we've unlocked squad skills. So you've reached level 30 with your first character and unlocked squad skills. Continuing to play as level 30 character earns points that can be spent on stackable upgrades. That apply to all characters in your squad regardless of level. Um, you can access the squad skills from the talents menu and unlock even more by leveling up other characters. So yeah, we need to get all characters up to level 30 anyway for a trophy. And then there's another trophy that we need to reach level 50 on squad skills. So yeah, we need to reach level 50 on this. So I guess it's kind of like over leveling, like a prestige type thing. So we can continue to uh, level up. So with our slightly improved gear, I continued grinding out incursions, working towards, of course, the mastery level 20. While doing that, I needed to also get and equip three pieces of tier one, two, and three infamy sets. Oh, trophy. The Venom Connection. Equip three pieces of tier one infamy set. Oh, nice. So that's, um, I just unlocked this one here. So I got three infamous set pieces of uh, Bane's equipment. The way you get these is tier one, you'll get from mastery levels one through nine. Tier two is from 10 through 19. And finally, the last one, tier three, is 20 and above. Who needs rooftops to snipe? One more oh, trophy. Oh, that's level 30, I think. Lawton's last stand reach max level with Deadshot. Nice. 
The leveling up takes quite a while, but it's not too bad. Got two characters done, so got two more to go. Next, I complete the final gizmo mission. For anyone watching this who's planning on potentially going for the platinum or is even working on it, I've seen this one suggested online a lot. Basically, don't complete it because in this mission, enemies spawn infinitely and you've got a vehicle that is really powerful and kills everything super quick. So if you don't complete the third one, you can just repeat it. And doing this, you can grind out levels much faster than I think most of the other activities in the game. So yeah, keep it in mind though, because if you do finish this mission, the only way to be able to replay it is to join someone else who hasn't already completed it. Unfortunately for me though, I completed it and I kind of regretted that, which you'll see much later on when I needed to do a ton of grinding to get levels. Oh, there we go. That should be the final toy man. Mission? Yep, there we go. War Machine. Complete the final... Oh, sorry, Gizmo, not Toy, toy Man. I finished my 10th Raising Hell hit squad. Ooh, trophy. Uh, number the Dead. Oh, I think that's for... Yeah, defeating 10 Raising Hell hit squads. Yeah, basically, you'll uh, get challenges like these contracts, but they're, uh, they're called Raising Hells instead. Once you complete all of them, They'll send in a squad to kill you yes, um, when you did to uh, take out 10 of them. Now continuing with the incursion grind, I beat mastery level 5. Boom. There's a trophy. Battle lines. Complete an incursion mission and mastery level 5. I've also got to do level 10, 15 and 20 as well. Oh, a trophy. Need to know. Complete 100 support squad contracts, finally. That one took a while, but hell yeah, we're getting really close now. Oh, another trophy. Captain Boomerang, Agent of Oz. That's level 30. So we we got one more character, which is Harley Quinn to do. All right, this should be another trophy, I think. Complete mastery level 10. There it is. Killing time. Completing incursion at mastery level 10. All right, this should get my final character now. Harley Quinn to level 30. The yep, there it is. The Harleen, the queen, reach max further? level with Harley Quinn. So all I need to do now is reach squad level 50. So you can see here, these uh, you can level all these up. This is basically like over leveling. I'm currently 14, we need to get squad level 50, so we're getting there. All right, so this is the Batman experience. There was a trophy right at the beginning of the game that I missed called the Batman experience. It's in here. Could be a button I can press. Is it this button here? Yeah, there it is. History repeats. How did I miss that button? Begin the Batman experience. There we go. That's the second to last one, so I only need one more trophy now I got them all there it is there's the last one should get the trophy now for all 40 Riddler trophies yep there it is the oldest one in the book let's all 40 trophies hell yeah we're getting super close to the platinum now yeah so I've got all of the collectibles I've done all of the miscellaneous stuff so yeah basically all I've got to do now I've done all the challenges and stuff like that Incursion, Mastery 15 and 20, reach squad level 50, and, and then we need to equip three pieces of tier 2 and tier 3 infamy set. Uh, both of these come from doing incursions, so all five of these trophies kind of go hand in hand, because obviously as we're making our way to the Mastery level 20, we're going to get tier 2 and tier 3 gear, and then of course that's also going to level us up. So yeah, all five of these are all kind of linked together, which means we need to do these three missions here. So it's the world's unfair, sending a signal, and in invasive species. These are the three missions that we're gonna have to keep playing to increase the mastery level. You can see there, if you look, highest mastery level completed, 11, uh, nine, so I'm gonna do that one, and then 10. So yeah, we need to keep leveling these up and getting new gear, so let's do it. There we go. 
that done? Right, we're at 32. So I think... Oh, nice. Oh, we might get a trophy here. I needed three pieces of level two Bane stuff. Yeah, there we go. All sorts of fun. Equip three pieces of tier two infamy set. Hell yeah. Beautiful stuff. Done. Pick me up. Teammates, please. <clears throat> I don't even know where they are. Where are they? They're like glitched. I can see them on the map there. They're not moving. Oh my god, have they glitched? Are you having a laugh? Oh my days, bro. They've glitched. I don't know where they are, but I can see them on the map. Just like just not moving. Bro. And I just... This is brilliant. Can I not cancel it? Is it not even going to give me a timer so I can just respawn? Oh my god. After me speaking about how good the AI are, because they always pick you up. Now they didn't pick me up. Oh, there's the trophy though. Into the angry planet. Incursion mission mastery level 15. So spongy. Oh, we got it. I didn't realize we were close. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, the servers again, bro. Oh, my. Why you got to do it right at the end of the goddamn mission? <laughs> What's going on? Um, hello, game. This is more than just a sec. Oh, no. It's bad enough that the, the grind at the minute is boring. Never mind having to deal with these issues. Oh, my trophy, I forgot. The final frontier. That felt like it took forever. Incursion, mastery level 20. Hell yeah, right. Two more to go. Tier three gear and uh, level 50. All right, let's see if we get a tier three. An iconic piece. Grenade, Reign of Bane. Yay, there it is. The Reaper. So that's for equipping three pieces of tier three infamy. Hell yeah, right. Reach squad level 50. That's it, and we're done. This thing took way longer than I expected, and after hours and hours of completing incursions, I searched online just to see if there was another way of gaining XP fast. And although there was, it was unfortunately also super boring. I just repeated the same mission, Batman Delivery Service, in Chapter 5 over and over again. It's got no enemies to worry about and you can complete it in about two minutes each time earning around 27,000 XP which isn't a ton but you'll get a lot of bonus XP for not dying and if you've unlocked invasion difficulty 5 you'll also get an additional 75% experience. So after doing this over and over again I finally reached level 50 and could put this terrible game behind me. There it is. Oh my god, finally. Trial by Blood Reach squad level 50. And then the Platinum, the beginning of the end. Oh my god, I'm so glad I am finally done with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This game was not great. It's not as bad as some people say, but it's super tedious, especially towards the end, getting this final trophy, getting to squad level 50. Major grind, majorly boring, but we're done. Took me about 40 hours. I've been Mr. Lee Ning. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for the next game, and I'll catch you all on the next video.